Hi everybody, this is Aaron McKeown talking to you today about how I use the Mac program GarageBand to write songs. Um, I have a song called The Jailer that's on my new record, Manifestra, and um, right now I'm going to take you through the GarageBand demo of that song that I made on um, August 6th of 2011, and um, this 105 here is the tempo, and you'll see why that matters in just a moment. But um, one of my favorite things to do is to use the pre-made beats in GarageBand, and um, this is just a beat that I selected at random because it sounded good to me. This is called Affected Beat 4. Something about that just felt really good to me, and um, what I did was I set my guitar up in my studio and um, just played it right into the computer had this idea for a guitar riff and um, so at first I played it in here once and then I decided that it should be doubled and um, laid it right over this beat and you'll see it here comes up again I wasn't sure what the song was going to be about so I cut and pasted this guitar riff out into the timeline here you can see that um, laid it out where I thought it might go form wise and then I added a little second piece of the riff here simply did that by cutting and pasting a piece of it here. What I'm trying to do in GarageBand is to move quickly to get ideas down to just see how things sound. So then the next thing I did was I uh, added some hand claps here. I thought this beat needed something. So these are the hand claps. And to me it started to feel like a song here. So um, I started to put a, put a vocal over it just to see what it sounded like. Again, I'm laying things out in the, tam in the timeline here. Um, I'm not sure where everything's going to end up, but I can cut and paste and move things around really easily. And uh, one of the things I love about GarageBand is they have a, a wonderful um, group of uh, instruments here. The instruments, these MIDI instruments that you can play in via a keyboard. And a really nice bass sound here. So this is a little sub synth bass. Double this vocal here, and you see the uh, sub here. The last thing I did was add um, a little bit of extra guitar. Let's back this up so you can hear it. This is uh, in this bridge section. So here I have the basic skeleton of a whole song. The low end is covered. There's um, a bit of an arrangement to it. And again, it's just cut and pasted out over the timeline of the song here. If I want to work on the vocals, I just mute them and um, practice singing over it. Um, this works really, really well for me. And um, you got this idea of what the song sounds like now. And uh, let me show you how it sounded when it's finished. The thing that's really great about this is I took this beat from GarageBand and I put it right into Pro Tools and um, with a live band built the track right Break over my it. Back in time, my hands sent me to the jailer. For every man that jailer keeps. This all is getting darker. So that's that garage band beat right in there, souped up through a compressor and um, used as a click track for our final version of the song here. Now later in the song I had a live drummer play over this beat and um, much the same way that you can stack beats in garage band, we have a stack of a garage band beat in the computer and then a live drummer playing over it sounds like this. Same basic idea of the demo, but uh, everything is fuller, has a little more humanity to it, sounds are a little bit thicker, and of course the vocal is better. So, from GarageBand, that sounded like this. All the way over to a finished recording that sounds like this.